Hey there, this is Davey Boy Smith Jr., current MLW Tag Team Champion and future MLW World Heavyweight Champion. And you are tuned in to another episode of To Be Blunt with PZ. Stay tuned. <laughs> scheduled for one fall and we have frank knox in studio say what up frank what up what up you already know your boys pc's in the house and a special guest today bro we got a special guest in studio i have him in by the name of chroma and this man right here claims that he is the biggest weed smoker the biggest stoner you've ever met in your life in the world I smelt him coming in, man. He, he smelled strong like that cologne you pushed in episode three, Ola Kush. Uh, that's right. Chroma, say what up, man. What up, people? That's right. So basically what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to do things a little different. He's not here to get interviewed, you know, none of that shit. This man is literally going to spend the next 60 to 90 minutes smoking, dabbing, smoking, dabbing, smoking, dabbing. Smoking, woo, dabbing, by God, smoking some more. And we're going to keep track. I got Frank Knox. He's got the paper. He's got the pen. We're going to tally up. We're going to tally up. We're going to tally up the dabs, grams, blunts. the milligrams, how many dabs, how many blunts. How many vape hits. That's wrong. That's right. You can't forget. You got the vape pens. That's right. All right, we, uh, we got vape pen. All right. That's the, right. He's already going. He's, this start, is he's starting off light with the vape pen. This is going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. We have a huge show to talk about. We got a lot of things going on. We got to talk about... The bachelor party weekend. Oh man, what a, what a memorable weekend. We, that's right. We gotta talk about the huge breaking news. NXT, they're gonna be going live, you know? They're gonna be going live on the USA network head to head on Wednesdays with AEW. So the that's Wednesday gonna be big. Wars. That's right. The uh, wars are brewing. It's upon us. I hope we're all ready, because I sure am. That's right. We got Ron smacked down from this week. And while we're doing that, my man Chroma. It's going to begin high as fuck. Boom. He's already going again. Dab time. Dab time. You heard it. Dab, Dab time. I like how he even announces this. And I would know if, in case we're not paying attention, bro, just jump in. Gotcha. Just be like dab time. Smoke time. You know, blunt All, time. Always smoke time. Always smoke time. Speaking of. Oh, boy. Party foul time. <laughs> Party foul time. That's right. We can't go any further before we do our weekly ceremonial lighting of the blunt, Frank. You know, holy crap. All I hear is the flame going. It's not just any blunt, PZ. It's a King Palm. That's right. It is the King Palm. We got the big Slim Boy rolled up. 1.25 grams in this first blunt that we're going to smoke today, which is going to be the first, first of many. We smoked a lot of grammars, a whole bag, and those things were great. Let's see what the next uh, next step up is like. Hopefully, it's the same smoke. I'd say, are you ready? But I have a feeling that this guy's already ready. Always ready. Always ready. He's two steps ahead of us. That's right. So, then I ask you, Frank, are you ready? I'm ready. I said, are you ready? I'm ready, PZ. Then, we're the three of us in this podcast studio, one of which who's dabbing away to the right of me. And the hundreds, listening at home. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get ready to smoke it. Tell him, Frank. And if you're not down with that, we got two words for you. Smoke it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We got the King Pop loaded. I'm sparking the blood up. Chroma's dabbing up over to the right. Frank Max is getting ready to catch the pass. Go long, Frank. Go long. I'm going, i I got a 1.25 grip coming your way. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. My bad. Wow, We're on a second. Time, time out. Chrome Come bring like it back on. Too. Bring it back in. Another blunt. Break it down. <laughs> we got a blunt rolled. He sparks up another blunt right after. 
I'm gonna have to catch two passes. You're gonna be catching. You're gonna be like the, the best toll booth of all time. That's no right. easy pass here, baby. I'm catching dimes. I'm catching nickels. I just caught this <laughs> blunt from Chroma, and it's it's rolled like you would think Snoop Dogg would roll his blunts. I can't Thank believe he perfection. passed it to you, bro. Let's go to the left, that. yo. What the fuck? I thought I was gonna have two blunts at once. Can you imagine? You will at some point, bro. I know. That's what worries me. So, the strain of the week. Right here. Strain. Tell him, Chroma, what is it? It's that Girl Scout glue, my friend. Girl Scout glue, right? Girl Scout glue is a cross of one of my favorites and yours. Gorilla glue number four. And what we got coming up next. Here you go, Frank. Oh, God. It's, he can't. That's right. It's got to go the other way. He can't handle. Girl Scout cookies. And the final cross, white fire alien. Can you believe it? White White fire fire alien. alien. Holy shit. You know what? You know we're getting ripped today, bro. We're smoking Girl Scout glue. We're smoking Girl Scout glue. See, now here's the problem, Frank. Let me hit this real quick. Enjoy that. Let me know. Oh, (laughs) man. Oh. That That shit's strong, man. That shit tastes. It got me high like it came from Area 51. <coughs> that is that, that white fire alien, bro. Holy fuck, bro. Woo! This is, is this that Charlotte Flair? That's got me woo! going to woo! <laughs> That's how it feels like. This is amazing. So, you talked about Area 51. We're about to be in space. We're going to be in space. We're going to be dabbing. We're going to be smoking. And we're going to be in space, God damn it. So, we got a lot to go through. That's my bad. Sorry, Bane. My bad, bro. I don't think Bane wants us to go to space. Bane don't have a choice. Listen. You're coming too, Bane. That's right. We got to talk about the Bachelor Party weekend. There's no way we can not talk about the Bachelor Party weekend. Yeah, we can't. We hyped that shit up so much. So much. You know? So, this past weekend, me, Frank, and four other members of my... uh, you know, wedding party per se. Took a trip down to Atlantic City. We're on the boardwalk. I'm gonna have you some fun. The boardwalk. That's right. Boardwalk. Shit got lit. Yeah, we, it was fun. We had a fucking I had a blast. We had a big ass house. Pool, balcony. Oh my god, bro. PZ Two balconies. PZ was sleeping like he was a mob boss. He's Yo. got he's got the deluxe bed, the deluxe shower. Dude, this guy just passed me a vape pen. I don't even know. You got two blunts going, and I don't know which way which one goes. I don't know, but I can't. I mean, did you just? Way, did you are you all right there taking tally? Because he's just. I can't even keep I track. Do it makes sense? He passed you the vape pen. He hit the vape pen. Absolutely. So I tallied him down so far for two vape pen hits, one dab, and uh, two blunts. Yo, I like that. Wow, bro, what is that? That's a Neva from Theraplant. So what? What was the favorite part of the bachelor party? That was so delicious. That was get back to the weekend. I can't, bro. I can't. Literally, I had to savor that. And you'll know when you try. I'm telling you, I had to savor. I don't want to try it right now. Oh no! All right. There's two blunts burning, and no one even knows who's who. No one even wants to hit them. All right, all right. He's pointing at me. Listen, we had the bachelor party weekend Friday night. So you know, we get there first thing. We're lighting, we're lighting them up. We're, we're, we're cracking them open. We're shotgunning Bud Lights. We're shotgunning Bud Lights like we're college kids I mean, in the after, backyard. It took us about eight hours to oh, get yeah. there. But yeah, well, that we had to make like 30 part. stops. That was you know? the rough part. It was very rough. But, man, that first night we went heavy. We hit the casinos. Oh, my God. We went to the casino. We had the Tropicana. Easy was hitting on roulette. He was spinning. The, <laughs> the, the wheel was spinning. The ball was dropping. Woo. It was hitting red. Double up. It was hitting black. Double up. Dude, I couldn't I couldn't be stopped. I had like six, seven, I don't know how many in a row. I was red. I was black. I was red. I was black. I was even. I was odds. But no matter what it was, I was hitting it, baby. Woo, hitting it, hitting it, break it down. That's right. I was just hitting it all night long. <laughs> it's gonna be stopped. You know, and then from there, we to get, you know. We did a lot of bar hopping, There's, a lot of shot taking. There was a lot of shots that night, bro. There was uh, some karaoke that went down. It was the karaoke. 
the karaoke. So finally, at the end of the night, you know, karaoke was the big priority that night. And, uh, man, they wanted to get me in there so bad. That GP was trying to hype the guy at the door to get me in. And not just get me in, but get me ahead of the line. But they were running such a funny scam over there. Yeah, like, so, bro, Chroma, they had to pay $2 yeah. just to fucking do a song. Really? They and made then, you pay. And then you pay insane. $10 yeah. to skip the line. Wait, did you actually the pay? Song. I didn't pay for a goddamn I thing. I was going to say, I hope not, bro. But I'm sure no, my brother did. for on his behalf. <laughs> yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. Right? But you tore it down. Right. You tore the place down. You I know? know. It's true. I went up there. I did the Michael Jackson. The man. <laughs> The That's man. What you say? I think it's the man in the mirror, bro. That's, a, that's so awesome. <laughs> bro, I swear <laughs> to God, so I was up there. I was fucked up beyond belief. And I'm just up there like, the man, the man. <laughs> Yo, it was insane. <laughs> and then the next day, I was so shot. Were you? Yes. Yes. I was hella lit the night before. Now, how much did you smoke while you were down there? Well, how many? I mean, we smoked like uh, eight blunts on the way know, there, so blunts. shit. <laughs> no, eight blunts the first night. Yeah, so you smoke like chroma. There you go. Yeah, maybe not like. But you. there was a bunch right. of us. There, there was like four, four people smoking. Yeah, right. So everybody, you know, had weed. So it was just insane. It was insanity. Dude, I think overall, though, the funniest part of my experience was the bachelor party was literally trying to find the strip club. Going on Yelp and then reading the reviews, bro. That's right. I was belly laughing like I never. We were before. sitting in the living room. This place had two fucking living rooms, mind you. It was huge. It was like a fucking little mansion. It's crazy. So we're in the living room, and uh, my friend Tim was wanting to go to the strip club real bad, and got Frank over here in the kitchen looking up reviews on the strip clubs. You know, trying to figure out what would be the best one to go to. And so there's this one that we seen on the boardwalk earlier in the day called Stilettos. Yep, on our way home. Yeah, we passed it. It was all right off the boardwalk on the side street. And, uh, God, okay. The reviews were just, yeah. every single one of them was deep belly laughs. So, Frank, do you have any of these reviews yeah, on I have, I have one of them just on Just hand. one? I, all right. I have a bunch, but this is the best one. It's short, and I don't want to get too X-rated. All right. So my man, Paul E.G., he's probably from the Jersey Shore. Quote, unquote. Paul G., I got a five-minute lap dance. It cost me $140, and the most she'd let me do is pick her G-string like a guitar. (laughs) Place was a dump. Wait, it gets better. Place was a dump, and the stripper I got had an unkept bush, and a few hairs (laughs) fell on my T-shirt. No, you're no. paying 140 dollars to pluck a G string like a guitar, and you're leaving with pubes on your shirt or your face. That sounds like you know Tim's kind of place. Sounds like marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I mean, I have more. If you really want me to get into another one, I can I don't give know. you one more. One more. One more. If you want to see gross roast beef vaginas and oh. gross <laughs> tattoos for ghetto strippers, this is your place. If you want your boyfriend to throw money at Ratchet Girls, this is your place, too. Best of, best of both worlds, ugly girls, and Ratchet Poor Boys. Have fun getting an STD. Guess what, Kayla? You're mad because you got an STD because your man <laughs> oh, was shit. throwing money at the table oh, at Stilettos. Shit. Now you want to come out here and leave a bad review. It was the jealous sex. The jealousy on Yelp. Dude, I can't believe it. Oh, my God. Oh, That's insane. Maybe we were just more high and fucked up at the point. What do you mean? But when you hear it the first time, it's always the funniest. So for know. us, it's, real, it's still, that it doesn't give us that hard belly laugh. I don't know. I, I thought it was really funny. A Yelp was shit. That first one was really good. Yeah, the first one yeah, was really funny. The first funny. one's like great. We, went, we, we let it go too long. Yeah, let go. <laughs> Let's get into some news, yo. Let's get into some news. I like to talk about a little news, you know, at the beginning of the show. Once all poured out. I, mean, no, I know. You're hitting that? I got to focus on yeah, the news, damn it. So they found nearly four tons of marijuana discovered in a shipment of jalapenos. The fucking jalapenos, bro. So the U.S. Customs and Border Protection seized nearly four tons of marijuana last week in a package that came from Mexico to the U.S. Now, not for nothing, but if that shit came from Mexico, it was probably crap. You know, 
I've been to Mexico, and I can tell you right now, they got nothing but dirt. Yeah, I've gotten dirt weed in Mexico from Jorge, and it was garbage. And that's all you can get is dirt. It was brick. They don't, have, they don't know what real weed looks like. Take the seeds, grow something good. Well, you know, I remember being on vacation at a resort, and one of the bartenders got me some weed. Oh, boy. But, yeah. And but it was, that was so long ago. And it was Bobby Brown. Yeah, it was Bobby. It was Bobby Brown, right? Oof. So... What happened was they said a 37-year-old Mexican guy entered the port of uh, Ote Mesa near the border between San Diego right by my brother and Tijuana. No, I got two already, God damn it! What do you mean? I can't hit, hit, pass hit this both, one. Hit both. Hit both. Hit yeah. both. We're only going to hit one. I got to do the news, God damn it. Get high rapper, hit both. God damn one, it. Same, same time. Anyways. Same time. So after the driver pulled up to the dock, right, they pulled out the fucking the dogs. And the police discovered what they described as a leafy green-like substance that field tested positive for the properties of marijuana. Really? Your, that shit was so <laughs> ugly that they weren't even sure it was real weed. It wasn't even trimmed. Exactly. It was that dirt brown weed. All leafy. It wasn't no bud. Bro. I just died, bro. And then they said the amount that they found was worth $2.3 million. Two point three million. How many pounds did they get? Get? Uh, I don't know. It was just three hundred large brad packages. What did it say? Maybe seventy five hundred pounds. They said. Yeah, all right. That's cool. right. Yeah. Seventy five hundred pounds. I think. So then we got Colorado. So Colorado, they said they're going to start allowing deliveries of cannabis and tasting rooms that you can locally go to, and you know. I guess you would just smoke your weed up in there. So it'd, right? be, it'd almost be like a coffee shop or a cafe. Yeah. Like a place you could go and socialize and smoke and weed. And smoke weed, right. And at the same time, or maybe it'd be like uh, like a shit, like a brewery, bro. <laughs> like a weed brewery. It'll serve you a flight. You got a flight of weed. <laughs> you got a hit of this, two hits of that. <laughs> that's right. They <laughs> pack you a one hitter of enough. five different types it's of bugs. It's not enough. It's not enough for crow, that's for sure. Hand me that blunt, will you? <laughs> Which one? The Girl Scout glue. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. But then they're also going to be delivering weed, bro. So, like, you can order pizza and marijuana, bro, in one shot. <laughs> Damn. Can dude. you so believe you can just that? Just be on, like, DoorDash or Postmates. Be like, hey, pick me up an eighth of weed and a large, <laughs> a large cheese pizza. Yeah. Absolutely. And let's get into some local news. Right. I don't know if you heard about this, Carl. When this happened in Connecticut. Oh, let's see what happened. So six oh. seniors. Oh, dude, I heard about. I this. did hear this. Were arrested for I sexual did. activity in a conservation area Wait, in Connecticut the, between the ages of sixty nine and like eighty seven. Yeah, so it was like sixty two to eighty five. That's right. Uh, tell them they're accused uh, of meeting up for sexual activity at the Grace Richardson Conservation Field in Fairfield. So the police had surveillance set up. I guess that this is not an uncommon thing for people to really go. I don't know why. I've never seen the place, but this this has happened before. So they already had like a stink set up. You know, so they arrested six people, you know, five of the guys or five of the people in the group were guys. And then they only had one chick, one chick. Imagine that chick being your grandma. Oh, bro. That's so <laughs> fucked up shit to say, that's bro. fucked up. Matt, but it had to be it's somebody's grandma. How do you, you know? <laughs> or, or mom or, you know, that's fucked up. Wait, is the name out there? Probably not. I don't know. We're not going to mention but it. But, yeah, so one old lady was getting the train ran by five <laughs> old dudes. She got that choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> dude, and then I'll tell you another story. So yesterday, me and Frank, you know, we're talking. Frank, you want to you wanna bring this one up? Because you're the one that brought it to my attention. Yeah, so yesterday I was looking for a movie to watch. So I went through, uh, went to my go-to app. And the first movie that popped up was How High 2. How high two? Terrible. Like, I've never even heard it was Terrible. made. I didn't even know I it existed it. until yesterday. Terrible. So I clicked on it and I saw Little Yachty in DC Young Fly are the stars. I was like, wait, 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 wait. Little Yachty? This motherfucker has been anti weed since he even became hot in the rap game and started dyeing his hair red. And now he's going to star in How High Two. Dude, <laughs> I honestly couldn't believe it. This guy has literally been out there. Preaching about how he doesn't yeah, smoke he doesn't weed, smoke weed. he doesn't yeah. like to smoke weed, he doesn't like how it makes him feel, and then he goes and does a movie about being a stoner. And worse than that, the fucking guy says that he tried smoking during the movie to try to make it authentic, and then his quote was, I didn't like it. Fuck you, you no good piece of shit. What the fuck? Fucking break your back. <laughs> fuck this guy. Can you believe that shit? 
Lil Yachty, yeah, you're a punk bitch. You're no good piece of shit. You're worse than the Brian Blair. You're worse than the Hollywood yeah. blonde jabroni. I mean, how are you going to have Little Yachty follow up Red Man and Method Man? Dude, Little Yachty shouldn't follow anything. Anybody that was going to be on that movie was going to be a disappointment unless it was those two. Yeah. So why would they even make it? Uh, that's the question. I heard that these directors, though, made this made the movie like with, under the radar from the studio. And the studio didn't even know that they were making it. Hey, I guess they were trying to get rich or die trying. That's right. They That's right. Trying. And they failed. They died trying. So, quick question. Frank, where are we at right now with the tally? It's really not as high as I thought. Yeah, it's not. It's not there yet. That's right. I just want to get. I listen, I want to get a review yeah, I get, in. All right. So I, I have three vape hits. Um, one, only one dab. Changing that. Right and now. we ha- we have two half blunts still between three people, but PZ <laughs> KO'd on that. Yeah, he you guys like an hour ago. Out. Listen, I'm the host of the show. All right, unless the people want a show where I sit here and I'm silent the whole time, which I don't think anybody wants to listen to. You know. I'm at a good place right now. I'm loading up another dab now. Of course he is. Chrome is going to load another dab. Me and Frank, we're going to call up Don Kincaid. Ladies and gentlemen, exclusive breaking news brought to you by the Kincaid Hotline. And now, renowned reporter, Don Kincaid. It's Don Kincaid, baby. That's right. Donald, we got our minutes loaded up. Me and Frank are here. We want to know the dirt. What do you got for us this week? Baby, I've got some kicking news for you this week, baby. And I'm going to tell you that whole fluctuation of the right shit is out the window. I'm only doing $1.99 from here on out. I can't fuck over my boys anymore. And that's the bottom line because King K said so, baby. Oh, right, it's about time. It's about time you were fair with your friends. Uh, all right, let's get into some news, baby. We've got some MLW news. We all love MLW. But for the very first time in MLW history, the World Tag Team titles will be contested in a two out of three falls encounter. We have a of a two out of three falls encounter. What a fucking tag team match. And that, dude, that is going to be contested between the Hawk Foundation, Teddy Hart, and Danny Boy Smith Jr., Versus the Dynasty, Richard Holiday, and MJF. And that is going to be held at War Chamber for the gold, baby. Wow. Big news coming out of MLW. Oh, man. That is going to be amazing. I hope I can see that War Chambers. And check this shit out, man. This is a little kind of side stuff. We haven't seen Ronda Rousey on TV in a long time. But she has been doing some stuff. And she's actually on, the, on the, the television set of 911. It's a show that's on Fox TV. And boy, there is some nasty news. And if you haven't seen this picture, just Google. After I finish telling you, Google this shit. And you, wow, it's nasty. But anyways, she has injured herself by slamming her finger in a door and her middle finger is hanging on by the ballast. I've never seen anything so grotesque. It looks freaking horrible. Oh, I seen it online today, Don. It made me sick to my stomach. Dude, if you Google that, you'll look at it. I don't even know what's, what. How is that finger even hanging on, PG? I uh, mean, come on. I don't know. Frank, did you see it? Yeah, I saw it look disgusting. It reminded me when I severed my finger. No, oh, that's right. Oh. Off with the tip. <laughs> Bring it back. Oh, off with the tip. That that sounds kind of spooky. Let's move on because now, baby, we've got some big news with one Tony Schiavone. That's right. Tony Schiavone from more back in the WCW days. He's been doing some work with MLW themselves, but he has now been locked into a contract with All Elite Wrestling. And I'm telling you right now, he's going to be doing both companies, Major League Wrestling AEW, and it's going to be fire, man. Oh, my God. Wow. It's about time they got a real announcer to uh, go by next to JR. You That's know? right. Those other guys, they suck. It's been so stale on AEW. This is going to kick it up a notch, baby. That's right. Well, they need it. Well, I don't really jump into the WWE news a whole lot, but, man, we got some big news coming out for NXT, and I'm going to give you two tidbits. And then I'm out of here. All right. Now, we've got, there has been a date set because 
NXT is now going to be exclusively on USA Network on oh, September 18th. It is going to be a two-hour show, and it's going to be held on USA Network. And now, we've been watching NXT all of this time on the network. Uh-huh. You can't even watch it the night of. you got to watch. you got to wait until the next night to even watch NXT on the network. Well, what's left to watch on the network after that? Well, you know, there's, there's a, I think there's a big reason why, PZ and Frank, because right here, to end my little holiday, baby, we've got some money talk. The NXT brand moving to the USA Network is going to be bringing Uncle Vincent Company an extra $50 million a year. What? That's right. $50 million bucks. USA is hooking up Uncle Vince per year. We don't even know how long that contract is for, but he is getting, Uncle Vincent Company is getting $50 million a year from the USA Network. Now, let that be added to the new Fox deal because every single year for five years, Raw gets $265 million a year and SmackDown will be bringing in a $205 million a year. Big, big money coming out of the USA Network, Fox Network for Uncle Vince, baby. So what's that? That's four hundred fifty-five million just off Raw and SmackDown, plus another fifty. That's five hundred five million. Yeah, we're talking a lot of money. per year. Wow, that's that. That's not dough. That's that's going to the pay window. And, and, and yeah, and, and if me, PZ, and Frank, we want to go see a WWE show, that front row seat's gonna cost us like a million dollars just to get in the front row. Oh, it's gonna be ridiculous. Luckily for you, Don, we know people. Hey, I don't know the guys you know. You you exclude me out of them clubs because of all of my fluctuation on the race. But that's all right. I don't give a crap. Oh, Don, you're awfully unfiltered today. Well, it's the time you dude. start giving a crap, Don. Be fair uh, with yeah, the race. Dude, it's a dollar ninety-nine from fit. here on out. One ninety-nine flat rate. No fucking around. No more, baby. Uh, my name is Brian Tillman Jr. I am. One third of the New Heart Foundation on Major League Wrestling, and you are listening to PZ on the To Be Blunt Podcast. That's right, we are back on the To Be Blunt Podcast, Kincaid with the dirt. God damn it! Yeah, he was unfiltered this week. He I was know fired that up. guy was real fired every week. Every week, he's just fired up. I can't <laughs> believe it. So, Frank, coming back from break. This whole time, Chrome has been getting so lit. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I am super fucking high right now. <laughs> I'm fucking lit, bro. You can make fun of me all you want, but I had to take a break. I had wow. to take a fucking break, yo. I had to do it. I had no choice. All the honeys are laughing. That's right. <laughs> they know what's up. I need a break. But then, this guy, Chroma, what's he smoked since we got back? He's he's continuing to smoke the blunts by himself, and um, he took another dab. He took two dabs over break, actually. All right. Two dabs over, yeah, while we were talking to Kincaid. Two dabs. Not wow. Not just any dabs either. Hash rods and dabs. I just said I was taking a break, and this guy passed me the blunt. And what's my instinct to do? Hit it. Blunt. But, man, huge news. Huge news. John Kincaid, though, you know, yeah. big news drop. Wait, I, I'm the one that broke the news before at the start of the show. Don't give him the credit, you know. Don't give him all the credit. Yeah, you know, that son of a bitch. You're right, you're I dropped right. it first, you know. That's what you get when you call it pre-recordings. <laughs> Fucking Don Kincaid, yo. <laughs> man, no, he did. It was great. It was great. But the last thing he did talk about was NXT. So, NXT... Is going to be going live on the USA Network every Wednesday from 8 to 10 p.m. starting September 18th, which is like two to three weeks prior from AEW debuting on TNT. Couldn't be happier, man. It's going to be great. Time for war. That's right. So now, you know, I was as soon as they made the announcement, Frank, because remember we were talking about before SummerSlam that uh, we, we expected a few guys to get the call up. 
Yeah, nobody did, but this is makes sense now. That's you know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. They need so to now fill a two hour show, and they have the talent. That's right. As they start calling up guys like Johnny Gargano, who's going to be like their top, you know, top face. I mean, obviously, when he gets, you know, gets up there, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge. You know, and a lot of people were worried at first when the news broke earlier this week because immediately it was uh, understood that Vince McMahon and Kevin Dunn were going to be taking over the show. Yeah, that was the people on Twitter bugging out. Yeah. As usual. Right. But uh, Jump into conclusions. Right. But uh, news reporter Ryan Satt said that Vince won't be involved and nothing's going to change. It's still going to stay <laughs> under the helm of Triple H. They said the commentary team was going to stay the same every week. You're still going to get Morrow, Nigel, and Beth Phoenix, which is great. I love Morrow. They're going to be going to war with uh, Shivani and good old JR. All right. So here's the question now. Everybody's throwing around this word of war, right? Right now, as it is, do we say that this is a war or do we think this is like a competition right now? I mean, has really any shots been pulled for it to be a, like a war prior? Just the uh, the beating down of Triple H's throne. That was that was a huge shot fired. Right, but Triple H and here prior comes to this. Triple H, his company. Now he's going head to head with you on Wednesday night. Who's got the last laugh now? Triple H prior to that was the one that called the AEW company piss hands. Yeah, he did. I forgot about that. See that? Look who's on there. Yeah. Roma's coming through. Yeah. He can't see, but he hears perfectly fine. <laughs> Dude, at the Hall of Fame too, right? Right. Something yeah, yeah. It was like, yeah, it was like a big event that yeah. he did that. It was like, uh, yeah, I think it was the Hall of Fame. He deserved it. If the Scott was listening, if you're listening, Scott, confirm that for me. I want to get the details on that. You know, because that would be excellent. The Scott's down wheeling and dealing in Atlantic City. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. Lucky guy. That's a right. Yeah, man. I don't know. I think it's it's going to be interesting. I don't. It's it's great that it's going to be. It's going to happen. I want. I'm looking for it. I just don't like that people are jumping the gun and calling this a war already. Like it's not a fucking war yet. Like a fucking war, like an act of war is like when uh, DX showed up at fucking WCW in a tank. Like you're right there. That's war. That's war. You know, everyone's just trying to prematurely. Grab on to the you know the the ring of the early days. You know they want that they want to live that gimmick again. You know they can't put the boots down per se. You know and let it go, and that's what's happening. They're pre anticipating it so they can kind of persuade in a way for it to happen. You know, and it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know what that is? Goddamn goons. It's a power move, though, by WWE. I mean, it poses instant competition for AEW on Wednesday night right from the rip. Right. I, yeah, you're right. You're and they right. have two and th- two or three weeks prior to AEW going live on TNT. They're going to already be live on USA. Right, and that's the thing. So now with them going a few weeks earlier, they're going to get kind of a head start. People who aren't familiar with NXT are going to find out real See, fast. This is, I feel like there's a reason why maybe some guys like Aleister Black came in strong and then just disappeared. You're supposed to fight Sami Zayn. Yeah. Now, wait, did you think about this, though, with a two-hour show? They still, you have to double the time and think they get commercials, too. Right. So you really only get an hour and 20 minute show, which most of which will be what one more match or a backstage segment. It's really not much more that you're going to get. That's why it's a good point. Think of what you got. Probably about with. 90 minutes. Right. You get what? I don't know what 42, the rates are. 42 minutes per hour. Yeah. You get 18 in commercial break. Right. So, you know what I mean? It's true. I mean, really the way those NXT it. matches go, I mean, they're all like half hour gimmicks. So you'll get about an hour, 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Hour 15 minutes. Yeah. I mean, you still, you know, it's it's going to be live TV. It's going to be huge, you know? And now the question I want to ask you guys, since I got both of y'all here, is when this goes down, which show are you going to watch live? AW or NXT? AW. Why? I don't really like NXT's weekly products because it's mostly just backstage segments. 
It's really just like one match that you really care about. You see a superstar that you're like, oh, they're going to be dope. And you see them once every two months. Besides yeah. that, you get random matches all the time. True. True. Thoughts, Frank? What would you be watching live? I'm going to watch NXT live probably. Word. Most definitely because you know why I'm going to watch NXT live? Why? Because it's going to be debuting three weeks before, brothers. That's right. You're going to be all <laughs> caught up and ready so, to go. <laughs> so I'll have a choice at that point to... If they don't catch me in the first two weeks, then I won't watch it. That's right. But then there's probably a part of me, maybe I'll watch the debut on AEW because I already got a couple weeks. We'll see what happens. Now you're you know? really going to see less people debuting in the new NXT too, right? Because they don't know how they'll do on TV. I they think they're no going to bring guys back. Like I just they have first to. said, like yeah, Aleister Black. Because <sighs> he was supposed to be the next dude. He beat Cesaro. He right. was supposed Should to fight too. Sami yeah. Zayn. It's SummerSlam, and it got squashed for whatever reason. Right. And this may be the reason. Yeah, true, true. And if you uh, have comments on this, please call in. And if you want to take part in the conversation, 860-384-7110. What are you going to watch, PZ? I think I will definitely, obviously, be watching NXT. Uh, and I also agree with I'm definitely going to have to watch the premiere episode of AEW. Even though everything I've seen up to this point hasn't locked me in yet. You know, I'm not still sold, you know, well, on the company with the, weeks, uh, with the boys running the yeah. show. You know, I'm not sold on this whole concept yet. Yeah. We still have one more pay-per-view. Yeah. I'm not saying that I'm not going to give it a chance. I'm just saying currently, if you're asking, that's my answer. You know, I would probably continue to watch NXT weekly, you know, and that's my, that's just my opinion. And I think this whole thing is going to be great for wrestling fans as a whole. You know? It's going to be great. I just can't believe I got outvoted right there. That's a harsh reality. Yeah. It's like, oof. I thought AEW was going to be so sick. Look at that. (laughs) I mean, it might be sick. But right now, it only had five shows. It's not enough to fucking, you know. And maybe they've gotten worse. And none of them had storylines. Well, I think that's really what it comes out. You got to wait for the storylines to see anyway. But, I mean, at this point, how can you already say that the AEW would be the way to go? I just like the rest Have of they even announced? That's a good enough. That's a good enough answer. Absolutely. Have they even announced Sean Spears and Cody Rhodes yet for this pay-per-view? Officially? I think they announced that for the first match of, or like the first night. Of no, the first night he's AEW. fighting like Guevara, Cody Rhodes. Is he? The first yeah. ever night. Sammy Guevara. Yeah. But I don't know. Have they announced Sean Spears yet? I don't know. Where's the Scott? Fuck. I don't watch the YouTube series. That's right. Being the elite. Where's Scott? Where's Mario? They should be calling in right now. <laughs> Damn, yo. So let's go ahead. I think that uh, we can all agree that we need a uh, a break. Some for the smoke. Some maybe to take a break just to take a break. <laughs> I'm not going to name names. We're going to take a little quick break, and when we come back, we're going to recap Raw and SmackDown. It's To Be Blunt with PZ. In come the thing called, I'm the original of weed, man. I'm the big one. Play by the rock, I'm open, cash don't pass. Now grind that weed, just crush it in a hand. And that's for why you have me understand.
the shine. See me uh, the original Dr. Green Tom. Roll up the raw paper or blaze the chill on. See me uh, original weed man with the healing. Take a one pop, you get the feeling. See me uh, knocking at your front door ready. All type of streets, cause you know me think plenty. 300 acre in a humble county. Have me license, so me no free that federally. Them legalize the earth so you can burn it up front. We now sell you no Reggie, we no give you no song. Put the cushion on your grind and roll yourself a good blood. Red eyes of your eye for your month. Strictly cash for delivery. We put the package for our drone, get it rapidly. Sell you a clone, make you grow in your community. The weed man are enterprise, cause the hustle never die. Baby, you see? Yeah, it's the hip. Dickie Moon, man, it's time to sit back, relax, and chill. Cause you're tuned into the 2B Blunt Podcast with Frank Knox and Peasy. Peace. 2B Blunt. Wow. <laughs> the 2B Blunt Podcast. Man, it's on another level in here. Let me tell you. I got Chroma to the right. He's smoking. He's dabbing. He's got his fancy pink glasses on. I mean, Frank, we should be going live right now. Right on the Facebook. Or He's on the got YouTube. his John Lennon glasses on. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> People need to see this shit. Yeah, that's right. He's got his John Lennon glasses on. We're going live on Facebook. We're going to go live on no, Facebook. We're going to go live on YouTube. Go live on the YouTube uh, page then. All right. Let this guy do his thing. You need mine? Because you're all signed in over there, I think, right? Yeah, I am signed in. Absolutely. Signed to my personal account. Wait, can someone grab me the tray? The tray? Oh, wow. I'm rolling a blunt, yeah. Oh, he's rolling another blunt in his pink John Lennon uh, oval glasses. Oh, wow. He's lit, man. I think he took a couple more. Uh, he took at least one more vape hit and another dab, so I think he's up to four vapes, four dabs. Four vapes and four dabs? And then he's going. He's rolling in another blunt. Yo, fucking YouTube won't let me stream, yo. We're going to go right to Facebook now. Monetize. Yo, they, no, yeah, they said I didn't read the, meet the requirements. Can you believe this shit? That's, that's some bullshit. How many subscribers do you have? That could uh. be why. Maybe that's why. There's a there's like, like a limit. Ad re- like ad revenue or something. There's a limit. I don't understand. That's right. We're live right now on Instagram. Ah, oh, that's right. Yep, that's how do right. I change We're this thing? We're here in the studio. I don't We're know. Let's throw some gorilla glue camera. in this. You know. <laughs> let's, let's throw some glue in this. Throw let's some glue. glue. I like, you yeah. know where it is. I know where it is. <laughs> this is crazy. This guy's over here. The John Lennon glasses. He's smoking. That's right. He's drinking nothing. He's just nothing. smoking. He's not, I haven't even seen him touch the water, bro. No, he's refused. <laughs> he's just dabbing. I'm like chugging over he's here got water. Like a whole case over here. And all he's been doing is smoking, man. This dude. I he may be the world's <laughs> biggest stoner. Dude, oh, you thought I was making that up when I made these claims a few weeks ago? I told you. I've seen this guy in action, and he will sit there and I'll smoke anyone. You remember that time at the sesh when you sat on the couch all just... Uh, oh, bro. <laughs> I was like, get some CBD in you, and you're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I was real lit I after hanging out with this guy. I hold this, man, but... I know, I don't either. I don't either, so I'm going off. All right. You gotta get back to the show. This is true. We got so much to talk about. So let's get into it. We're going to go off live. That's it. Let's get into Raw, man. Uh, so Raw. Yes. I, yeah, Raw was great. I thought Raw was great, too. Started off with a bang. Started off with a bang. That whole segment with Dolph Ziggler and Roman Reigns was great. Dolph Ziggler is money, man. Did you just mix Roman Reigns and great in the same sentence? I Listen. Come that's on. right. Come on. I'm telling you. You're lying. No me. way. You're lying. No man. way. Yeah. Come on, Pete. No, I'm telling you, God damn it. Ooh, the man that jerks on his right. No way. Ah, that's right, baby. <laughs> Load him up, PZ. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Only <laughs> thing I want to see with him is a yowie wowie. That's it. That's it. That's true. I see it. Well, we, saw, we saw the fiend on Raw. You yep. know? Attack Jerry Lawler. King's Court. Yeah, right. King's Could you court. believe it? The he fiend. Tr- he tried to get I out of the ring. Race, I'm out of here. He tried to get out of the ring. He even got to the top of the ramp. He thought he was going to get away. Yeah, he thought he was in, he was safe, but ah. Uh-uh. But then he stopped. 
Why did he stop? He knew. Right he then. Knew I knew it was coming. Yeah, of course. So you he know? knew it was coming as soon as the lights went off. You know? Jerry so Lawler's... What do you think about this, though? They need to change the mandible claw, no? Do you want it, like the same move name or something different? I mean, I, I don't know. If he's, if he's doing it as an ode. I'm okay with it. Ready? Yeah. The Rift. That's what he needs to name it. The Rift. The Rift. The hell's the Rift? What, are we oh. surfing? No, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us go in a Rift, bro. I'm telling you. It'll catch on, bro. Maybe We're I'm sick. just high as hell, but maybe. Oof. You know what else was sick, though? Becky's promo. Did you see Becky's promo? Killer, on Sasha? Dude, first great promo she's had since the Rousey era. Dude, I'm telling you, the rivalry with, with Sasha is really picking up steam, and I haven't been this interested in the women's division, you know, in a long time. I mean, yeah, all right, that shit with Natty that she did at SummerSlam, that wasn't a bad storyline. But uh, still, like, since WrestleMania, it's been kind of lackluster. I totally agree. You know, since Rousey disappeared, it's been I last she was coming back. But then her finger, you know, she yeah. Her now she's definitely not coming day. back. No, no way. There's no way. Maybe one day in like a year, but I mean, she got it back on there. So, but she was Sasha back on with set the next day. Sasha with the blue hair coming in hot, man. I'm telling you. I mean, the the promo she cut too back at Becky was great, or just introducing herself. The phone's ringing. Uh, who was calling in? Why do I want to guess that this is going to be Kyle LaPointe right now? I just, I have a feeling. 2B Blood Podcast, what's your name? Where you calling from? Hello? Oh, they hung up on me. Maybe he heard, maybe he, he heard that and hung up. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Anyways, so like I was saying, uh, the, the, the whole feud has really felt like organic and real. Since like... Since the start of it, I mean, that whole beginning when Sasha came out and beat the shit out of, like, Natty and her. I mean, I started to forget the possibility of Sasha Banks coming back to the WWE. Really? she's been gone that long. She kept hitting that she, she was going to be leaving. Yeah, and she was hitting the Twitter and Instagram hard, training at, like, House of Glory. and Yeah. And then here she is now. Sending cryptic messages, and boom, got us all. Now she rises. That's it. You know? And, uh... I feel like it's going to revitalize both their careers. Like, Becky needs something to bring her up. And so does Sasha to give her, like, something to put her over as the big heel, you know? But then the question is, who needs who more? Does Becky need Sasha more to... Okay, he's already he's already shaking his head. Yeah. Chrome shaking his head. He we says no. A, we don't need Bacha Banks anymore, dude. Oh, right. You're, no, so you're no, anti-Sasha. Bacha, as you said. Yep. Frank? I mean, I love Sasha Banks. I don't think she needs Becky Lynch. Right now, Becky Lynch needs someone at the level of Sasha Banks to compete for the title because she's gone through everybody else. So who else are you going to bring her? I'm with you. I agree. I think that she needs this to take that title to another level because right now her whole run has been kind of, like I said before, mediocre. You know, terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Then you got fucking Ricochet, right? Ricochet. This guy is so over right now. Big, huge baby face, right? Rickocket. Rickocket. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> you would. You would go there. The guy's over as fuck right now. But I feel like he's mostly over for, like, his moveset, you know? I totally because he agree. does fancy shit. But the problem with that is, like, he's not the only one that does that. Look at these, if these morons just fucking tuned in to, like, 205 Live. They see that shit every week. Did you hear they're going to get rid of 205 What the Live? fuck is that, bro? Did you hear that? They're going to get rid of 205 Live? No. Yeah. I love 205 yeah, Live. They're going to put the 205 Live title. That's why I'm putting the them NXT. over right now. No, That's really? what I've been hearing, I swear. Where are they putting it? Here all week. They're going to put it on Live NXT. I swear to you. I've been seeing it everywhere all week. They're going to put it The 205 title needs to be live on Raw and SmackDown every week. I agree. Week. I agree with Not you. Not on NXT at I the very least. You. So they're going to move all the guys to NXT? Which, would you believe that more people actually watch 205 Live than NXT via the ratings? I looked that up before. I was dumbfounded. Wow. This is huge. I didn't know that. I didn't know it either. We'll have to have a... We, that's why we need someone to Where's the Scott, chat. God damn it? We need someone to I thought he said he was going to call everyone in. everyone in here tell us they know everything about everything and <laughs> just agree with them. But we have that's to. Right. We have not. <laughs> I got no facts. What are you yeah. passing me right now, bro? Another blunt? Another blunt. This guy just passed me a full blunt, bro. A full blunt. Fuck. 
Holy shit. So, fuck for Cassandra. Get another ring started. Get another ring. ring started. And my first question is, what the fuck are they doing with Cesaro? I mean, he was placed in the worst possible position for anyone in King of the Ring. Samoa Joe is never going to go out first round. What? Samoa Joe? I don't know. Like Cesaro really need, he needed it more, bro. He did. He really needed of course, it. he would have made a great king too. You know, yeah. I can see his fucking. But couldn't like when you look at the bracket, like six of the dudes will make great kings. I don't know. Some of them might make good kings, but I feel like Cesaro would have made a great. I king. I want to see King Ricochet though. I do. You son of a bitch, King Drew McIntyre. Do you like Ricochet? I wow, do, I do. Oh. Well, he's, dude, his his literal name was King Ricochet for how? Long? I know. Oh, I on. know. It's easy. It's going to happen. It's either going to be him or Drew. It has to be. I got McIntyre. My God, you guys. Well, I also can't believe, speaking of King of the Ring, Frank, how they dirty they did Sami Zayn. Can you believe it that they put over Cedric? Over Sami Zayn? I can. <coughs> what? I can because it's like... A, <laughs> Whoa. You could see the beef. All, they had this feud. Drew McIntyre and for Cedric Alexander. And it's like a path where they're probably going to meet at the finals. I mean, semifinals. Really? That's what I think because that's what I thought initially. And then I, when I filled out my bracket, I listened to people. It's a bold prediction. That was it. You know, it's a bold prediction. Yeah, but Sami Zayn, he ended up having a new role, though. That's true. We'll get into that yeah. a little more. Uh, we'll get to it later. Uh, one more thing about Raw before we move on to SmackDown. And I just want to say, I'm real disappointed with how dirty they did the Good Brothers. What in the fuck were they thinking? Taking a legendary tag team like Gallows and Anderson, you know, who should have had quite, you know, a run, in my opinion, with those belts. And they stick them around the waist of two guys that just threw together overnight. Yeah, I couldn't believe. What kind of disrespect? I couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Now we got Seth two belts. Bro. But I'm not a fan of them taking the belts off, man. I thought it's it does nothing for Rollins. It does nothing for Strowman. I agree. Nothing. I agree. It reminds me of back in the day. When, Unless uh, Strowman does an ultimate heel turn and they really want to push him heel and he turns on Rollins. That'll probably be what it is. Like, what Shawn, else is going to happen? Is like this? Shawn Michaels versus John Cena back in the day. Like, what was it Mania twenty three? Because he's not really like a big man, it. you know. Oh, People so pop for Strowman. <coughs> I guess I don't know. Strowman's a moron. I don't think that that guy needs to be in a main event with Seth Rollins. You know, that's what clearly where they're going. You know, right? It has to be. That's what I'm saying. But I don't like for me. That does nothing. You know, because he's the beast slayer, so he's gonna keep slaying beast until what Brock Lesnar comes back. So yeah, so, so then it's gonna saying, be Bobby Lashley. He's gonna know? turn heel, basically. I mean, I don't know what's going. Someone's on. gotta turn heel for that. I don't want that. Take but they away. went. They've been working the beast slayer since WrestleMania. I know, and it I ain't know. going away. Sadly, I know. Well, you're right. You're right. It's fucked up. You know, solid opening on SmackDown though. Solid fucking opening on SmackDown. Kofi finally gets retribution. You know, after the weeks of getting played with Randy Orton, you know, the back and forth, the revival now getting involved, you know, with the rest of the New Day. I'm loving Randy Orton again, though. Dude, Love it. I'm saying the pairing of revival and Orton has been amazing. Oh, yeah. Like a, mo- a month ago, probably on this very podcast, me, Frank, and the Scott were talking about the pairing because they had put them in a six man. You know? That's right, and you wanted to be like the new uh, evolution. Evolution. I was like, they could be the next evolution. We would I went around and talked about who would be a good fit for that. Um, and and you I called still, out Chad Gable, right? I did. Very good memory. I forgot. And he came in on SmackDown, you know, with the uh, collared shirt, <laughs> kind of good, good looking like old school Orin. Yeah, with the <laughs> top button unbuttoned. Yeah, you're right. So you're you're right. Be onto something. Maybe you know, man. I didn't even think about that. That's good observation, man. Holy shit! Saw Gable this week, right? Yeah, I saw yeah. the whole thing with uh, was, the had, promo. He had evolution written all over him. But now they're, I think they're playing him. Yo, they're trying to put him into that. I heard that they were going to put him in some shit gimmick. The Vince was trying to change his shit to uh, Shorty G. I heard they trademarked this name for him. Yeah, because you remember how they talked about 
or uh, not the top of how they made fun of his height. Sean Benjamin put a the sign up the on the sign door. You have to be this tall to be in the. Canada That's what Land. I meant. As soon as I seen that, I was like, "Fuck, dude!" I hear that they're Fuck. trying to pair him again, though. Eventually, it's going to be like Shorty G and Shelty B. That's that's what they're going to go with. They're going to pair them after this. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing again, because what else is he going to do? Where do you get these sources, yeah, bro? Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, bro. All I do Chad is... Cable is there, there a, is there a weed do, and wrestling news page that I don't I know about? All I do is smoke weed and just stroll the internet. Damn. You know that's the I life. Mean? That's it. Holy shit, bro. You don't have to work or anything, though? Oh, I work every day, but I get high... you get high, to smoke weed? I get high before work, and oh. then I get high at work, and then I get high after work, and then I take a nap, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's how it is. Wow. <laughs> Wow, that's Easy crazy. Goes, I'll text him good and then just nothing. That's it. Nothing. True. True. My favorite part of SmackDown this week, man. Buddy, Buddy Mar- fucking yeah, Buddy Murphy. Murphy. Yeah, he was fantastic. Yes. I don't think anybody expected Buddy Murphy to pull off a clean win over Daniel Bryan. Amazing match, man. I popped when he I, got the, that hit the three. I thought for sure he was kicking out. The crowd was hot for him, too, from the rip. Yeah. They're going to buddy, buddy, buddy. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that buddy Murphy, yo, put on another sick match, <laughs> right? That is two fucking weeks in a row that this guy has put on an incredible match start to finish. That's no fluke, right? I'm telling you, Buddy Murphy, I said last week, was a made man. And now he proved it. You know, he proved it. He's sworn in. He's going to be the next superstar. Absolutely. Buddy Murphy's on a path. He's on a path. All the way to the top. That's right. That's right. And we spoke about Sami Zayn earlier. Uh, and what happened with Sami Zayn? So he got pissed off. He lost his spot in the King of the Ring. Then he comes out on SmackDown with The Miz. He's a manager now. That's right. Oh, no. It's not like he's a manager. Oh, he, watch. He's going to be a hype man. Nah, watch. bro. When he watch. lost, when he lost, they had a WWE.com exclusive where this guy... Threw a whole fit, tried to fight a couple dudes in the crowd, which is actually really funny because they did a really good job with that because it looked like it was a good shoot. (laughs) I knew it wasn't, but I was like, oh, damn. I was like, he did a real good job with that, you know? And he kept saying, I'm the best wrestler in the world and shit like that. And I was like, yo, where's he going with this, you know? So, and then you put a guy like Nakamura, who's had a less than stellar career in WWE, these two guys who have like no direction, even though he's the IC champion, what have they done with him? They've put the belt on him and he's done nothing. Exactly. No direction. So they're going to stick that together. Belt, anything they've done for Shinsuke, whether he won the Royal Rumble. I would have rather seen the, them, you know, win the fucking tag belts <laughs> than Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman. No, I agree. <laughs> you know, fuck. But Let's Sami Zayn's coming like he's looking after Shinsuke right now. So we'll yeah. see what happens. I know. I'm telling you, he's going to be Shinsuke's manager. Yeah, but he's going to turn on him or something, right? I can't imagine Sami Zayn not wrestling unless he's hurt, and I haven't heard shit about that. So what are they working with him coming out with Shinsuke and basically saying... Maybe they're they're going to start a stable. Maybe they'll add a couple of guys to that, you know? That'd be sick. That would be sick. You know, a couple other guys like Dolph Ziggler, you know? And then who else is on SmackDown? Oh, yeah, SmackDown, you know? Really could use that spot right there to get some extra time. Rusev. Apollo Cruz. Apollo Cruz would be good. Yeah. Or, or Rusev. Rusev's not a bad idea either. Though. Where is Rusev? I, I post exactly. some pictures on Instagram of him with no mustache. Him with Lana. That's right. And pictures of yep. just Lana. You know? <laughs> that, that's all he's doing right now. Fuck. And what about... What about big, Sheamus? That, Sheamus? Yeah. What about Sheamus? Where the fuck Sheamus? What does that have to do with anything? I think he's still He's hurt. just MIA. I think he's in recovery still. He's like doing commercials for cell He had like phones. a neck, in, neck injury. He's done? He doesn't know if he's done yet, from what I hear. But, uh... I was over him in 2008. Well... That static X hair, bro. That thing had to go. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept that thing forever. Oh, yeah. You know? And then he went off for the for the mohawk instead, which was no better. <laughs> Right. Like, he had I, poor, poor choices in hairstyles. On TV, it was up. Off TV, it was down. Pick one. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Big facts, bro. Thank you. You're right. And what about the ending? You know, they built this fucking storyline with Daniel Bryan and Eric Rowan and Roman Reigns. You already know it's still. It, it's definitely Bryan. Like, you already know that. Listen, I thought that, that from the very beginning. You know that, right? 
They're but they somehow went them. and held this guy hostage, put him in a black bag. Who the fuck was that guy? And he wasn't even handcuffed to the chair. Why don't you just rip the bag off your head? That dude looked like Gimli, straight up from Lord it of the Rings. It looked like <laughs> Eric Rowan's uncle. Oh, my uncle. God, yo. It was Eric Rowan's uncle. It was ridiculous. That's what it was. I could I like I was literally stunned. I was like, this is what they got? Like this is it. And and it was so awkward because Roman was just standing there like, what? You know, just that look at his face, just, like what? How do you just cut to that? How and don't like, you be like, yo, what the fuck? Why wouldn't he say anything? To them. Like, at all. Yeah. He just stood there with that look on his face, like, what? And I was just or like, Or maybe fuck? he knows that person. He has to know the person. You think he knows that's a look at like I know you like what? Like, I can't believe so it you. think was it was you. a what? Yeah. Or a what? Thinking it's like, what? That sounds no like the first way. time I did it. Oh, all right. So you added that in. That was a nice touch there. You know? That was but a nice touch. I, dude, right? Otherwise, you'd be like, nah, man, who the, f-? you know, you'd get angry, right? I would imagine that at that point, I would have lost at, my shit. You would have either gotten angry at Bry and Rowan or the person sitting in the chair, which you didn't either. True. So that leads me to believe he knows the person. However, they work it where he knows them is a lie. And I can't wait to hear it. Really, I can't. But What are your thoughts? Chroma, how high are you right now? I don't even care about this storyline at all. There you go. Not That's a perfect response from a stoner. Yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you the secret. I hit Roman. That's it. I did. He hit him. I'm a white blood cell. The guy. shotgun. I, I hit Roman. I was an extra white blood cell. Hit him with I a hit, dabber. I hit him bad. Got him with a dabber. Brought him back in six months. Got him with that reclaimed. <laughs> 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 That's right. That's what makes it a great finish name. <laughs> Nobody wants to be that. Nobody wants to reclaimed. <laughs> That's be a great finisher name. <laughs> oh, hit him with the reclaimed. <laughs> Oh shit, Frank! You got a top five for us this week? Yeah, I got one. Fuck yeah, let's do this shit. My name. Oh shit, my bad, Frank. <laughs> Frank Knox top five. 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 That's right. We are back. It's the Frank Knox Top 5. Frank, let's hear what you got for him this week. All right, PZ, here we go. Number five. I got someone we didn't talk about at all episode, but we should have, and that's Andrade. Oh. At number four, I got The Fiend. At number three, I got Kofi Kingston. Number two, Buddy... Murphy coming in hot. This guy, like PZ said, is a made man. And number one, it has to be Seth Rollins. Two belts. Seth I can't Rollins. believe it, but he's got two belts. I, I'm surprised. I have to put him up there. I'm surprised because I definitely would have had Buddy Murphy at number one. You know, I think Buddy Murphy had the biggest week of anybody, but I know... Frank Knox. The champion won another belt. I value championships. I value gold on the waist. You do. You do. You only, uh, you take the championships uh, championship seriously. And that's why, yeah. that's why, you know, every week we were having Brock Lesnar as number one. Yeah, but Brock Lesnar proved he could never be beaten. You but know, he was he just such a beat. beast. Now that's he's right. gone. He's long gone. And now it's Seth Rollins. He's not in my top hundred. That's right. <laughs> Sethy two belts. <laughs> Sethy two belts. Sethy two belts with the black hair. Uh, Crow, what did you think about the top five? The fiend should have been number one. Oh man, see opinions. He's if you got him, call in eight six zero three eight four seven one one zero. His character is a number one character, but until they just have him wrestle. Something longer than five minutes in a mask. He doesn't need to. He's like, he's like the that. Almost thing. ruins he the just, whole gimmick, yeah, though. He just needs to show up whenever and just. Attack so this him guy, you it. think this guy's going on? Maybe the like top. a maybe like a WrestleMania, like the Undertaker. Maybe like the Undertaker. You put on Honestly, the big, for, you know, the five star. I think his mania is going to be Demon Finn versus the Fiend, and that's going to end that complete storyline off because they need to do that still. Well, maybe, they have to do it if yeah. they ever move up. They, they can really, never they move past. To. Yeah, this is true. 
I didn't think about that. Well, I want to know is if Bray will ever wrestle as not the Fiend. Like, if he'll come out in the sweater vest and be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. No, <laughs> absolutely you know I mean? not. No way. <laughs> There's no way, because he definitely. I think once he catches a loss or something, and the, they end the momentum, he, he will. Yeah, like, come out at the Royal That's Rumble. That's an extreme come character to keep Rumble up week after, week after week after week. It's true. But if he does, then, right? then you know what? Bo Leave could come back and they could just do some brother shit. Bo Leave, bro? Bo Leave. No way, bro. You never. Oh, no, yeah. no, oh, no. Yeah. On that note. <laughs> Bo Dallas could stay as an extra in the back lot for Kevin Owens and Dolph Ziggler fights. This is the one above all. You're. Also, boy, world champion and the sole CGW world tag team champion. And you're tuned into another episode of To Be Blunt with Pete. To Be Blunt podcast. That's, that's for real? That's for real, Frank? I got updated numbers here from the Frank Knox data tables on the Chroma smoking tally right now. What is this? Vape hits. So, so far, this guy's hit. That's right. Six vape hits. We got seven dab ribs. Dab dab ribs. Dab rips. Three. The dabs. And then the blunts. We're at a count of three. Is that still rolling? That's three. But he three smoked months. a heavy, like, out of those three, he probably smoked that two points. Yeah, yeah he, he definitely outsmoked both of us already. This man's a true legend. I didn't just talk shit, Frank. I don't just talk the talk. I always walk the walk. And I told you and everyone else listening at home that I knew a guy who was the biggest weed smoker in the world. And I got him right here on the 2B Blunt Podcast. Check the Facebook page. You can check the live video we had of uh, Chrome over here rolling L's. You know, it was amazing. It was amazing. So <sighs> right now, it's yeah, just, it's been, a, it's been a huge show. We've smoked so much. Crazy podcast, he smoked man. so much more than me, so I can't even uh, make any jokes about it. Wow, what the fuck, yo? A lot of fucking shit. I'll tell shit, you man. what, though. I'm really fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh. good. That was perfect. <laughs> That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm real fucking high, too. That's fucking for sure. Thanks. You know? Uh, I don't think I've ever been this high on a podcast episode. I'm ever. proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud of you. I know. I'm proud of yeah, you, too. Yeah, man, you're gone. You I'm back. Like, you're listen, gone. I know. You're, I know. You're, listen. You're, I used to say I was going to do some mushrooms on this podcast, too. Let's do some boomers. <laughs> come on. Come on. It's going to be a crazy, crazy time. You know, next, every time you come on here, it's going to be wild. Has you know? But the, the thing wild. is, it's like from here, someone's got to be like, maybe challenge him, right? Maybe the next time you, you come in, we have somebody else who thinks they can smoke as much as this guy. Yeah, we could do that. We'll keep the tallies. We'll keep the tallies, and you can go one on one. And let me tell you, Frank, the last time someone tried to do this, it ended badly for them. It ended very badly for them. Now, do you smoke, like, huge um, dabs? Like, I've seen on YouTube people smoking shits, like, a foot and a half long. <laughs> okay. okay, so those are usually made with trim and not good weed. So usually, like, what I'm smoking now is 85 to $120 a gram, and it's really heavy. So it's really just I smoke good, clean meds all the time, and a lot of them. <laughs> and a lot of them. Yeah, apparently so. You know, I th- I guess it's I was 7 o'clock. It's not even dinner time. Can yet. I even call gonna... myself the Get High Rapper anymore? No, the title's over. You might as well just drop it. Dude, this and is, so you're gonna have to step up. This if is you're the most get high rapper rap about chicken nuggets right now. I want to hear it. I can't rap about chicken nuggets, Come huh? on, bro. I want to hear it. Maybe if the Gangone beat dropped, you could rap about chicken nuggets. <laughs> if the Gangone beat dropped, we might be able to rap about chicken nuggets. But I don't know. Can but you rap about chicken nuggets? No, probably, but you'll always be the get high rapper because Thanks. you could rap. You yeah. Know? It's true. Right, right now, I feel like just get high. we might be yeah. more on the verge of a panic attack. I cannot rap. Oh, no. <laughs> just kidding. Get the Benadryl. Get the Benadryl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that shit in the car. That's right, the Benadryl hydroxazine. It's the Benadryl. <laughs> there you go, Frank. You're going to rap on chicken nuggets. 
Yo, chicken nuggets. I pull up, I'm like 6, 10, or 20. The lady's like, ha ha, how much money? I want them all. Give me the sauces too. I dip them in that sweet, sweet BBQ. Yeah. I got the honey mustard cooking up. You know I got my boy BZ pulling up. Yeah. Dipping the fries. Now but guess what, man? We really, really have. Hi. I got more nuggets than I can count. Count. That's right, I'm gonna go mount. Mount. Mount some girl in the back tonight. Night. That's right, cause we feeling all right. Right? Still right. Hitting the stage, stage. out like a ball full of rage. Rage. That's all I got, man. Man, man, man. <laughs> Yo, that was my best chicken nugget. That, that was, was so, so sick. That, that, that was sick. You got six, twelve, and twenty. <laughs> that was, was so like, sick. What? That was so sick. Where did that come from? <laughs> Yo, Holy that shit. Was epic. That I was can't epic. even compete with that. Off the hip. I can't even compete with that. If you think you can compete with that, call in. 8603 <laughs> if you think you can outwrap Frank Knox on a chicken nugget freestyle. It's got to be about chicken nuggets. It's got to be about chicken nuggets. It's got to be about only. chicken nuggets only. That's right. If you think you can freestyle about chicken nuggets, call in. Because, dude, that was sick. Where did that come from? It just came from my belly to my heart to my head to my mouth. It seems like it sounds like you're ready like, to keep going. Yo. No, but it came from my stomach because I'm hungry. You know, after uh, smoking all this herb and being around it, this is very true. So speaking of which, dude, I got the munchies like a motherfucker right now. You know, real bad. That's what I'm saying, man. Real so bad. That's why I'm rapping about chicken nuggets over here. So, like, I know you're talking about chicken like nuggets, I'm but I'll tell you dog. right now, I kind of wish I had some pizza, bro. You and me both. I wish I had some fucking pizza. Uh, like, you know, it'd be even large cheese, yo. Buffalo yeah, with wings. Some, with some THC right on the sauce. Right on. Ooh. Right yo, a little turp on the sauce, yo. Oh, turp sauce. Turp sauce instead of sauce. Shatter pizza. Shatter pizza. With some crumble on top. Yo, the crumble. Oh, instead of the Parmesan cheese, yeah, instead of, some crumble. That's right, instead of that feta. That, that'd be yeah. that THCA isolate, that, ooh, that good, good stuff. Dude, that'd be crazy. A weed-infused pizza. Dude, you know what we can call that shit? I got an idea. Check this shit out. We're going to call it High Pies. Hey, guys, I got the pizza. Mean Gimma, what is this? This ain't no real pizza. Hey, forget about it. It's pizza. What's wrong with this guy over here? Let's eat. Come here, I sit. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. This no beats. You need the high pies of beats. They cook a pizza in a brick oven. They make a cheese melt the perfect. They take a sauce and they mix it with the marijuana. Marijuana? That's it right. Ma, they put a 20 milligrams and eat a slice. Ma, homemade a vino and no match. I eat it then I sleep. Get out of here. Ma, I swear on Jesu Christo. They even cook the chicken in the marijuana oil. I swear to God, in the name of the Father, the Fidio, Fidio Sante, this will get you fucked up. Forget about it. Where'd I get these high pies? High Pies Pizza is a higher class pie. So if you're looking for a pie to get you high, call us today at 1 800 High Pie. That's 1 800 H I G H P I E. It's the highest podcast around. To be blunt with easy. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm trying to order food. Oh, my bad, bro. Hey, can I get two large cheese pizzas? Yeah, make sure 20 milligrams a slice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, what time is it going to be here? <laughs> it's going to be here great. at 7.10. 7.10? Fuck. So it's already here, technically, just in the past? Yeah, but I mean, like, dab pizza, you know? 7.10. <sighs> Yeah. yeah, I went right over my head. Yeah, that's because I'm super high. Same. So at the end of the show, what are we gonna smoke? What's our last gimmick here? Okay. I'm not, you know, we gotta we gotta end on a high note. You know, I'm fucking over here. We'll do a nice a nice rip of the Aniva each. All right, the uh, Aniva each. Aniva each. <laughs> Sounds like the commercial. Let me be. That came in clutch with the uh, beats, though. I, I was I appreciated that. Was sick. No doubt, man. But yeah, that was a great. There it is. Oh man, that tastes so fucking good, bro. The Aniva. Th four two zero box. That's it. The Aniva. 
The TH fourteen. This shit hits so great, bro. I need one of those. Where do I get that? You get that from any head shop. Really? Yeah. It's, you know. What's your favorite head shop? Northern Lights. Northern Lights. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Northern Lights. That, that means I got to go. I got to check this place out. It's expensive, bro. <laughs> Where's that at? I wish I remembered. I'm always high when I go. <laughs> but my my girl made me go there, and I saw one bong that was just a basic bong for like seven grand. And I was just seven grand, bro. Is this place in Connecticut? Yeah. No. I swear to you, seven grand. Seven grand, bro. Wow. What are we Northern gonna do, Lights, Frank? They call, I think they it's up in like Glass. Farmington or something. Sovereignty Glass or something. I like think that. it's up in Farmington or something. It's Northern somewhere, Lights. Somewhere like an hour away for sure. Well, I need I need to get there. We gotta go see, check this place out, Frank. Are you gonna go buy a really nice sov bong? I might. It's not a bad idea, to be honest with you. I'll meet you, you in know? the ring for it. You gonna meet me in the ring? I'll meet you in the ring for it. All right. I'll All back. Right. I'll back bump. I don't That's think you want right. to step in the ring with Slade Dangerfield. God damn it! <laughs> not today. You couldn't even lace his boots. That's right. Because if you step one on one with me, you're going down, buddy. See how much weed you're smoking? I know your senses are impaired. I know your judgment's screwed. I know everything about you. And you know what I know is that at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, and you're laying there, ass down, face up, looking at the lights, the joke's going to be on you. (laughs) That's right. I heard Thank that the you. other Thank day. You. I heard that. You said that the other day. That's my tag. That's my tagline. God damn it! Let's get the applause. Yeah, that's right. Like David May would say, many have "Cheer come. for me." Many have come. Many have fallen. That's right. Dude, so it's been an epic podcast, bro. I want to thank you, Chroma, for coming in, bro. Anytime, bro. It's Anytime. been such a pleasure having you here and getting super duper fucking high with you on the To Be Blunt podcast. I gotta and I can you. guarantee you this, bro. There ain't another podcast round that gets as high as this one does. Never. Especially not this episode. No one's topping it, God damn it. And if they do, we'll bring them in. We're going to do the one-on-one. Oh, well, you I'm know? Off. Ready to go. And next week, Frank, we got big news. Part one of the sought after Bill Alfonso interview we conducted will air next week. Yeah, we've had it. That's we've right. Had it. We've been wait- waiting. And this We're waiting the for week. the right time. This you know? is it. We're right. going to release part one at the end of the show next week. It's going to be huge. Bill Alfonso, he's going to talk about his start. He's going to talk about when he refereed in the WWE. He's going to talk about ECW. His days with Giant Gonzalez. That's right. Driving around with Giant Gonzalez and Sabu and RVD and all the crazy stories that you can think of. Times Magazine cover. That's right. This guy's... That's right, Bane. You tell him. This guy's a legend. That's right. And that's going to be huge. And it's coming next week. Part one of the Bill Alfonso interview. You won't want to miss it. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast on all major platforms. Pick your platform of choice or do them all if you want. We don't care. Leave a review. Do whatever you got to do. And make sure you follow the To Be Blunt Podcast also on social media at To Be Blunt Podcast number two. Uh, and we encourage fans, you know, just to check in every week. And next week, like I said, we got Bill Alfonso. Maybe we'll have the it's Scott gonna Studio. Huge, man. Bill Alfonso. It's going to be episode 10, bro. We episode made 10, 10 episodes. episodes. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be great. We made 10 episodes. Can you believe it? What we'll better see- way, you know, to kick it off? Episode 10, part one, Bill Alfonso. <laughs> hey Pat, what's so funny, man? I'm trying to pass this hitty over there on your phone. We need to get up out of her. I told Lisa your new name was Nasty Man. Nasty Man? She was like, oh my god. Oh, come on, Pat. We gotta spark this up and get down to the club. Came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple. Came to the club, smelling. Came to the, came to the, came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple. Purple, purple, smelling like a pound of purple. Came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple. Came to the club, smelling. Came to the, came to the, came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple. Purple, purple, smelling like a pound of purple. Step up in the club, no mean mugs, it's some fans. Everybody wondering what's the smell up in the air. I can testify, it's probably me. No, I cannot lie. I'll be smoking purple till the day that I fucking die. Check my eyes. Like a China man, I scope the room. Anybody grilling me will be the first to meet they do. I don't give a fuck, I'm off and throwing a goose and fight up. Right out there, I knock you out, I sit on down and fight up. Yup, there's no need for talking, word and drink is what I'm barking. Mix it all together equals disability of walking. Hate them girls that be stalking, I can't stand the crazy bitch. Get them out my face and then I roll it up and take a hit. That's the draft picks, where we burn, we burn the fucking best. Bring it to my house, then we out to make a fucking 
came to the club smelling like a pound of purple, 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 a blood of purple and hay. And when I smoke, nigga, no stems, no seeds. Uh -uh. This hill blunt is mine. Go get your own weed. This ain't come from Kelly Pippin. Can't you smell that? We gon' smoke this. We don't sell that. Can't give you a whole peep of 5100. Man, I'm high as hell. You know I just stunned it. Man, I'm on fire. You ain't gotta ask what I'm about. Go and take a hit, and yeah, you probably finna pass out. Weak ass bitch, you better learn you cannot fuck. Smelling like a pound of purple, came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple, 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 smelling like a pound of purple, came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple, came to the club, smelling, came to the, came to the, came to the club, smelling like a pound of purple, 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 smelling like a pound of purple, 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 pur